Hello and welcome to my channel, Messy Heart, Crazy Life. For those of you who are new, my name is Danielle. I work full time in the corporate world and I do YouTube on the side because this is my creative outlet. One thing that I absolutely love is having the ability to try new things and then coming on here and showing you guys the things that I've tried and giving you kind of a different perspective. There's so many people on YouTube and Instagram that have these, what I call Instagram worthy lives. That's not mine. Um, I'm not famous, I'm not fabulous, I'm just a girl next door just like you. So if you're looking for kind of a different perspective, a different review on things, just kind of a normal, everyday, average girl view, then this channel is for you. So I urge you to check out my other videos. Um, today's video is going to be product empties. These are things that I have used up, not this month, but um, I would say this quarter and just kind of going through some of the things and letting you know what things I'm going to repurchase and what things um, I didn't really like. So I'm gonna start off with like hair and beauty and then towards the end it's going to be more of lifestyle stuff. So if you're here just for the hair and beauty then the first part of this video is going to be for you. So the first thing that I finished up was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder and actually it doesn't even look like that. I used it all up. So it has a little bit left in it. But this is what it looks like. Um, this was, in my opinion, um, not as good as the e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. The e.l.f. one is a little bit smaller and I have to buy a lot of them because they go out quicker. But to me, this was a very um, expensive version of the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. And I actually like the e.l.f. one a little bit better. So I will not be repurchasing this one. Um, it did okay, but if you are, if you like this one, if you tried it before and you really, really liked it, then I'd urge you to look at the e.l.f. high definition eye setting powder because I think that you'll like that one just as good as this one and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Next is this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So when I purchased this back a long time ago, um, when it first came out, I was intrigued by it because it, it said that it was, well, set a uh, Hydra Mist. So I have dry skin. I would say it's normal to a little bit of dry in the summer and then it does go a little bit more dry in the winter time. So I'm always looking for a setting powder that doesn't make my face feel like a desert or crinkly or crackly or accentuate the little dry flakes that I have on my skin. Um, when I first started using this, it is an interesting feeling because when you put it on, it almost feels like the powder is damp. Um, it's not uncomfortable, but it's just not what you normally expect to feel with a, a powder. And honestly, I think it did a really good job of hydrating my skin. My skin didn't feel like crinkly or anything like that, but I wish they would come out with a smaller version of it, like a mini size and put the price down a little bit more if it, you know, obviously if it was mini, because the problem I had was that Hydra feeling, that cool feeling that I had when I first started it and when I first used it was gone. By the time I used it up, it was just a normal setting powder and I didn't get that cool hydrating feeling that I did when I first got it. So I felt like I just couldn't use it enough or couldn't use it in time before the Hydra Mist portion kind of expired or, or went away. So I just wish they would come out with something a little bit smaller and then that way I can have that feeling because after a while it did feel nice on the skin, especially during the summertime. But like I said, for dry skin, it's definitely um, one of the powders that doesn't dry me out and something I would recommend. Would I be repurchasing it? No, I'm gonna try out a couple more setting powders. Um, there's a couple more that I have been watching or, or wanting to purchase, so I will be repurchasing those, and who knows, I might come back to this one. So next is the L'Oreal Volumi Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. So I am obsessed with these. If you are a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara person, I definitely urge you to try this one. I think it is a really, really good drugstore dupe. Um, it has a big old wand, but what I like about this is it doesn't clump up. It, I do have to say the only negative that I have about it is it seems to dry out or clump, like not necessarily the mascara, but towards like the end of its life, it starts getting super clumpy um, on the wand and you have to do a little bit more of trying to 
like mesh it through your lashes in order to get off all the product, it just gets a little bit more drying. Not like dry flaky, but just just a little bit more like, oh, that's not the right word. I don't know how to explain it. It's not watery, it, it's more it's more clumped together. It just becomes more clump, clumpy, but it doesn't like flake on, you know, on the skin or anything like that throughout the day, which is a big deal. But I just absolutely love these and the price is right. I cannot say enough good things about this. So next is the Maybelline Long Lasting, no, Lasting Drama Light Liner. So this is in the purple one. It doesn't really look purple there. It's more of a plum. And I honestly and truly don't usually like purple eyeliners because I do like a little bit more bold defining and stuff like that. But this was more like a very, very dark purple, more like a black with like purple specks in it. And I actually really, really liked it. What I usually do is I will tight line the top of my eye, top of my lash line, and then I will use um, a shader brush and just kind of shade it in. I don't like really dramatic wing or anything like that for my day-to-day -day look. And what I liked about this is it doesn't, it doesn't like bleed or anything like that on, it did a really good job of kind of smudging out and um, I felt lasted a long, long time, especially when I kind of smudged it out. So I actually really, really liked it and it's something that I would consider repurchasing. I have, like, for whatever reason, I have this obsession of, like, when I'm looking for a product, I will buy, like, like if I'm out of eyeliner, I will buy, like, 10 eyeliners at a time. And then it's like, what? Why didn't I just buy one and then wait till that went out or whatever? So I actually have several more eyeliners that I have to go through before I would even consider purchasing another eyeliner, but this is definitely something that I would probably come back to because I did like it. So next is, um, let's go to hair. So I use the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. So I currently use the, I think they have like a Perfect Hair Day, I guess that's what it's called, the Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually really, really like it, so I decided to do the dry shampoo as well. I supposedly it's supposed to like actually clean hair, eliminate oil, eliminate oil, sweat, and odor. I don't really ever have an odor and I wash my hair every single day, so this just doesn't do it for me. I didn't feel like it really volumized my hair. I felt like maybe it did clean my hair a little bit. It didn't get as oily throughout the day. But when I, one of the things that I use a dry shampoo for is for volume. And I just felt like this, out of all the dry shampoos that I've tried, just didn't give me the volume that I was looking for. If you're somebody who goes three, four, five days without washing your hair and you do get oily, I would urge you to try this, especially in the sample size. That's why I usually buy the sample size because then I, I think it honestly does, it doesn't leave that powdery like residue or whatever. I think it does really do a good job of cleaning your hair. It just didn't do what I wanted a dry shampoo to do. So this is usually what I think of when I think of dry shampoo. It leaves a white cast, it's whatever, but I absolutely love the Batiste dry shampoo brand. Um, to me, I always, always, always go back to this. I always have one in stock. I will try other dry shampoos and this is just a staple for me. This was in the Tropical Scent Coconut and Exotic. I didn't really notice the scent to be honest. Maybe it was there, but it, it wasn't enough to be me to buy this particular scent again. One thing I do like about this brand is it does have the blonde, the brunette, and I think the red dry shampoo where it's a hint of color. And when I was a brunette, I lived off of that stuff because when you have dark hair and you put white powder in it, it doesn't look very good. Um, with blonde, I can get away with it, so I don't buy the blonde one because hey, if you can buy Tropical Scents, then what the heck. Um, but I do actually like this one, and like I said, it's a staple, and I'm sure we'll purchase another type of Batiste dry shampoo in the very near future. So this is one that I had gotten in one of my goodie bags, I don't even know when, but this is the Nexus Dry Shampoo Refreshing Mist. This is unscented, little traveler's thing. I have to say, talking about the Batiste one, the Batiste one is a great drugstore brand. It's it's a good, I can no matter where I go, I know I can always find it in, in Ulta or CVS or Walmart. Batiste is always there and they have the travel brands. I went to Ulta today and I could not find this one. I know that they sell it on the website, but I could not find it in, 
in the store, but then again, I get super overwhelmed when I go to Ulta. It's like, it's like, you know, going to the toy store or toy store or candy store for a kid. It's like, oh, and I'm swatching everything and I just look like a hot mess when I come out. So I couldn't find it. So that makes me a little concerned because if I am traveling, I do like to have dry shampoo and normally I'll just buy one instead of putting it on the plane. It's a whole big thing. But I actually really, really like this one. Um, out of all the dry, dry shampoos that I have ever tried, this has got to be my favorite one. I felt like it did a great job of volumizing my hair. I didn't feel like I had that like white powdery look. It didn't feel like powdery at the end of it, but tea sometimes I can put too much in and it just feels powdery. Um, but this one did not. I felt like this one was kind of a good mix between the perfect hair, um, the living proof one and the Batiste one, just kind of in the middle where I felt like it, it was a clean feeling, but also it volumized. So I actually really, really like this. I know the bigger bottle is like $14 and I will be repurchasing it off of, um, Ulta's website. So next is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I know that this has gotten a lot of hype on YouTube and a lot of people were saying, well, you know, Morphe just pays YouTubers to say that they like this Continuous Setting Spray and this is the one that Jaclyn Hill uses and blah, 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 blah. And I kind of felt the same way a little bit, but I went ahead and used it because I had seen it so many places and I can honestly say the hype that you hear all over the internet is real. It is the best setting spray that I've ever used. Now, in saying that, I don't feel like it makes my makeup have any better longevity. I don't feel like my makeup lasts longer, but what I like about it is the spray nozzle is unlike any one that I've ever had. It's not like a spray, it's a, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, you can't even see it. Now, it, I mean, it's towards the end, so it's squirting out, but it is a fine mist that just sprays and it evenly distributes all of your face. You don't have any of the splotchy or anything like that. It just, and it never got clogged or anything. The other thing that I like about it is that it, it makes your makeup mesh together. Like it doesn't necessarily make it last longer, but your face, when you put it on, just everything melts together. Like your face just looks better. So I've actually, I'm on my second bottle. I've repurchased a third one. And what I like to do is after I do my face, like I'll do my foundation, my concealer, I'll set it, I'll do my contour, my blush, and then I will spray it, let it sit. Then I will go back and do my eye makeup, my brows, um, and then I'll do my highlighter and I'll spray it a little bit more. And then I will go in and do my um, mascara. And so that's kind of the routine that I've gotten. And it just, it kind of like blends everything. I feel like everything just blends and melts together. And it's like that finishing piece that just makes your makeup, it just takes your makeup to the next level. I can't explain it, but honestly and truly, it's my diehard makeup setting spray. New ones come out and I'm like, nope, this is the one that I'm gonna continue getting because it's that awesome. So I urge you to try it. So now kind of segueing a little bit more into lifestyle stuff. The next thing I wanna talk about is the professional tooth whitening system that I've been using. This is called Super Smile. Um, this came in one of my like goodie boxes, maybe it was Blessed Box or something like that. And it was just the perfect amount of toothpaste. This is the whitening accelerator. This is the whitening toothpaste. And it was just the perfect amount for me to try it out and realize that I really liked, about, liked it. And what I liked about it is I don't feel like it does, and I'm trying the kit now, and the kit has a rinse, which I can't use because it, it's too sensitive. But what I like about it is I don't feel like it really overnight makes my teeth look super, super white. It just gradually makes them white and gradually does that without increasing any sensitivity. I have super, super sensitive teeth and I have to be very, very careful about the whitening products that I use. But so far while using this, and I've been probably not, I don't use it every day, but I would say I probably use it about two times a week. Initially, when I got my white, whitening, whitening system, I used the product for twice or once 
daily for two weeks and then now I'm on like two times a week because I don't want to overdo it but I just really really like that I think it does a really good job of maintaining the whiteness of your teeth without making your teeth sensitive so I, I really really like it and I'm happy that I actually purchased the whitening system so next I'm talking about the Paracone is that how you say it Paracone MD the essential multivitamin for optimal living healthy, healthy living, um, powered by whole food nutrients, 60 tablets. So I purchased this off of Ulta because it was on sale and I figured I needed a multivitamin. Um, one thing I like about this is normally I cannot take vitamins in the morning because it does make me have like get nauseous and stuff like that. But I did not feel like that when I took these. Um, I do like the fact that it, it does say it's powered by whole food ingredients. And I'll be honest with you, I am not a big vitamin person. I like the idea of taking vitamins, but I, I don't know how much I'm supposed to have of certain things. I just take it because I know, especially being on the ketogenic diet, that there are certain nutrients that I don't necessarily get in my day-to-day -day diet. So I take a multivitamin just to help supplement that, and obviously that's what it's supposed to do is supplement it. Um, I just liked it because I didn't get sick off of it. It is not a cheap vitamin thing. You know, you can go and get like, there's a slew of different, you know, healthy women, women's whatever vitamins. I like this one because even though it is capsule, I prefer the gummies, but I can't have that while on keto. Um, it didn't upset my stomach, so I like that. Next is the Super Body Wake, wait. Super Body Breakthrough Wake Shake. So this is a keto thing. This is in the Cinnabon. Um, me personally, I hated this flavor. I will not be repurchasing it. There was another flavor, I think the vanilla that I tried and it was pretty good, but it is expensive and you only get seven servings in this thing. So it is like liquid or powder gold, but the Cinnabon was horrible. I did it just because it was expensive, but it is horrible. So I will not be redoing it. Um, next are some candles that I used up. So I love Bath and Body Works candles. I'm obsessed with it. This is the one, um, this is almond. It's made with essential order oils. And I didn't see it when I went, went into Bath and Body Works. Actually, I went there today because there was a couple Christmas things that I wanted to get. But this one, I know I've seen it before, so I know probably once Christmas is over, it will come back. But this smells so good. It definitely smells like almond more like almond oil if that makes any sense like it, it doesn't smell like a fake oil or a fake almond scent it's very very kind of true like a sweet almond scent it's it's absolutely it's a, it's a wonderful um smell and it has little japanese and of course those things change or whatever but this is a scent that i would feel comfortable buying for anyone because it's not overbearing it's a little bit sweet but it still has that kind of almond not salty but it, it, it's just very it's like a safe scent that if you're looking for a birthday present then this is a scent that is just safe for everybody in my opinion next again not a smell that is currently in stock but this was the pineapple mango and i just liked it because the flowers here it's okay it's a little sweet it's not my favorite do i have i have soot on my nose but I just like these things and a lot of times I'll buy it just because of that like if it's okay scent I'll buy it um, but I don't think I'll be repurchasing that and then last but not least is this one the harvest gathering this smells like harvest gathering fresh picked apples autumn berries and clove buds again I went there today they did not have this anymore but it is the scent that comes out this smells amazing this is like if I had to say if i had to choose what fall smell or what fall smelled like this is what fall smells like to me like when i think of fall this is what i smell and i think it's a spiciness from the clove clove buds from the clove and then the apples and the berries it just smells like a spicy like apple cider this smells amazing definitely recommend it and then last but not least is this pen it's kind of random but i felt like i wanted to include it because it is awesome so this is a Frickson ball clicker and it's a raceable pen and I should have brought something here. So I don't know, 
I remember when erasable, erasable, erasable pens came out and it was like a pen, but then it actually had a race for, eraser like a pencil and they were horrible. They didn't race very well. So I have tried this and actually, stupid me, I forget the reason why I have it in my empties video is because it's almost empty. So you can see there, so you take the little tip back here and the tip is just rubber and basically the, um, I'm trying to do this on camera so you can see that I'm not doing anything funky, but the pen, the, we're going to be like a teacher right here, but the pen ink erases with heat. And so it doesn't leave like that pencil eraser kind of thing. It's gone. It's like magic. There's another one where I bought a couple notebooks and there's a couple things on Amazon. I think that's where I picked it up. Isn't that awesome? I just thought it was really, really cool. They have different colors and everything. The only thing I don't like about it or my least favorite thing, I like the snappy little thing that's perfect. I just wish they had a little bit thicker like ballpoint pens or whatever. It's not like a super fine one, but it's like not thick enough for me. So I prefer if they would come out with a little bit thicker ballpoint at, at the end, but it's a comfortable pen. It's got the little gel grip right here. Like I said, they, they have all different colors and uh, I just think it's super, super cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the empties video. These are things that I have used up. And um, if you've ever tried any of these products, please leave your comments below so that other viewers can know what your experience was. Until next time, bye.